okay, I think maybe I'm getting better at this. I'm hoping the audio is okay. I'm actually trying not to be too loud because Matt is home from graveyard and still trying to sleep. But today we are going to take Lucy, my dog, to the vet. Uh, she goes pretty regularly, so we're off to her checkup. Lucy, are you ready to go to the vet? Are we going to see Dr. Hart? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Yeah, stretch it out. I apologize for the baby noise. Uh, it is the only way that I really talk to Lucy. <laughs> Alright guys, so off to the vet for Lucy. A uh, little bit of a different camera angle because that was the only way I could figure out how to get us both in it. Kind of have to chop off my head. But this is Lucy. Uh, her name's actually Lucy Luck. She is going to be 11 in September. I got Lucy when I very first graduated from high school. So she has been with me for a long time. She's the OG. Lucy, you're still not even in frame, girl. Uh, Lucy is going to the vet today because she has skin allergies. Some of you guys might be able to see it. Um, she she, it's usually right here and kind of under her arms and in her legs. Um, she's allergic to a wide variety of things. Uh, grass, birch wood. She's allergic to humans, so she's allergic to me. Like, some people are allergic to dogs. Um, so yeah, that's been a journey uh, for about... She didn't have it when she was very first a puppy. It's been really bad probably the past eight years or so. I have tried everything. Uh, we used to do, hey, it's okay, lay down. Uh, I have tried everything for her. Uh, she, you know, I say uh a lot and it's really annoying to edit out. So future Sam, I'm sorry. Current Sam, still nervous in front of the camera and gonna have a lot of filler words so good luck good luck editing have fun so Lucy so Lucy <laughs> Look at her like a... uh, she we've went through thousands of dollars loads of vet visits she goes at least once a month um, we're always trying something new and for the first time in the last eight years I think maybe we found something that's working and it's strange because it's actually the most minimal of treatments that we've ever tried um, so she has done everything from oral medications some oral medications that she had to take three to four times a day uh, different diets different soaps for a while, we were even doing at-home injections uh, to kind of like how an antivenom would work. You inject her with what she's allergic to and it builds up an immunity. Uh, nothing has worked quite as well as what we're doing right now, uh, which is actually she's on, for anybody who's interested or maybe has dogs with allergies, she is on a hydrolyzed protein diet so her food we get special from the vet uh, and she also gets some essential oils put on her every seven days uh, it's called essential six it smells really really good it lasts the whole week the scent does and it basically absorbs into her skin and just soothes it uh, and somehow that's been working she does have a special shampoo that she uses um, we kind of alternate those still and she gets a bath every week and it's working. She used to have, I used to bathe her every other day and it was draining. So only having to wash her once a week is so nice. 
and it's doing okay. She'll never grow hair here on her neck again, so that will always be bald, and it's gonna look a little bit red today because she, when she goes to the vet, she gets very nervous, but she does okay. Oh my God, if you could see the line at Starbucks. Look at this line, you guys. All the way up there, there's at least 15 cars. Uh, okay, we are back to this view because dog cam view did me dirty and the holder that I was using that was attached to my window fell and I'm not trying to deal with that again. Oh, thank God, the line is moving. One car, we've bumped up one car. Oh, guys, I just kind of want to go in because I feel like it's going to be faster. But I don't want to leave Lucy in the car. It's not hot out. It's not even 60 degrees out. I'm going in. Okay, well, it was equally as chaotic in there, and now we are presented with a new problem that is... The massive drive-up line is directly behind me. <laughs> but the most important part, coffee, uh, is in hand. And we're not going to be late to Lucy's appointment. Also, that was still faster, even though it took a while, it was still faster than going through the drive through because the car that I was behind wasn't even to the window yet. back to this view since the car won't be moving hopefully this thing won't fall down again uh, about 20 minutes early this is typical Sam move I'm early to everything <laughs> I stress that I'm not gonna have enough time and then I end up somewhere way way too early so now I have 20 minutes to kill and we're just gonna sit here drink my coffee. Okay, so I totally forgot to add before um, when I was driving and telling you guys about all of the treatments that we do for her. On top of all of that, the whole entire reason we go to the vet every month uh, is to get an injection for her, and that injection is called Cytopoint. It's essentially an injection that she gets every four to five weeks. It basically blocks the sensation of wanting for her wanting to itch, which was the major problem. Uh, she would get a little bit irritated and from one of her allergens would spike she would get agitated she would scratch it it would then turn into wounds um, so this this injection has worked really really well for her uh, everything that we're trying this kind of perfect fusion of treatments between the the bath schedule the oils the diet the injection uh, it's all working together and it's working really really well so I am ecstatic. Uh, I love this dog more than anything. She has been with me through some really, really difficult rough patches that I've had in my life. And I, 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 I owe her a lot. And I owe her the most comfortable and best life that I can give her. So uh, I'm willing to do anything, try anything, spend any amount of money to get her healthy and happy and comfortable. And I think that we're finally there. I think that we've figured it out. I'm hoping that this will work for the rest of time. And of course, earlier in the video, I tell you, oh, she gets so nervous to go to the vet. And now she's just laying here, napping. I actually think we can go in now. I'm pretty sure I just saw someone unlock the door. So here we go. literally the fastest vet appointment I think I've ever been to um, and I've been to a lot <laughs> for this little one uh, so yeah she got her injection she got her nails trimmed 
she's good to go. Uh, we were the only ones in there, which was really, really nice. That usually doesn't happen. The one thing that makes Lucy the most nervous is the other dogs. She thinks she's bigger than she is, essentially, and she ends up embarrassing me. But we got a bag of her special treats, and we are off. I'd also like to give a big shout out to everybody at Riverside Animal Hospital. Uh, they're incredible. Lucy has been to loads of different vets before and it took a long time to find someone who was caring and genuine and patient and going to have lots of different options for us. Um, and we found them there and they've been incredible. Dr. Hart is amazing. She has, she literally got in that essential oils, the Dermo scent essential oil uh just for lucy they're great they love they love lucy they treat her so kind and i'm really really thankful for them i used to travel two hours to lucy's vet every other week and so to find one that's so close to home i mean they're literally only like 15 minutes away from me has been wonderful and i am forever grateful for them figuring out something that's gonna work for her uh, so guys, that's it for our vet adventure today. Thank you. So that's it for our vet adventure today. Uh, thank you guys for coming along. Thank you for bearing with me as I'm figuring out all of this filming and editing. Um, I really appreciate all the help, tips, tricks, and support that you guys have been offering me. And I'm going to go now because my dog is doing her whining whimper that I cannot handle. And it's probably going to be so annoying to listen to. Mm. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye. Say goodbye, Ruby. Say goodbye. Say bye. Say bye to everyone. Okay, guys, bye.